panel so first of all just log in with your credentials and in search bar search for the bucket in first task we have to create bucket so just copy your project id and in search bar search for the bucket open this thing in new tab new tab now click on create now just paste the project id here over here as the name so click on continue 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 and in here uncheck this checkbox and choose fine grains and then click on continue and continue it will take few seconds so just wait for that and it's done now here we have to upload that file okay so uh, in live instruction page you will get start sample startup script just simply click on this link it will automatically download to your system now just go to the upload files then go to the download path and upload that file it will take few, few seconds so just wait for that <coughs> and it's done now simply click on this three dot then click on this edit access and now click on add entry and from here choose public okay name file must be all user and access must be reader simply click on save now just wait for a few seconds after that you can see you have the public public access okay now simply click on this okay now search for the vm instance open this thing in new tab now please pay attention guys okay now click on this uh, vm name then click on this edit and if you just scroll down a little bit in firewall now click on this allow http traffic and just scroll down to management and in management scroll down to metadata and then click on this add okay so sometime like here you can see i am not able to type anything so what you have to do just refresh the page if you face the same issue as i face just refresh that page wait for few second scroll down click on this allow http traffic scroll down to metadata click on that and now here please pay attention type strt start up dash script dash url okay like this let me just zoom in for you it must be look like this now just go to your bucket and from here copy this public url go to the your vm and in the value paste it and now simply click on save now just wait for a few minute and it will be upda updated So here you can see uh, the VM virtual machine is updated. So now just come over here and click on the first check, uh, second check my progress. You will get a score without any issue and uh, for the third one also. So here you can see now for the last one what you have to do. <coughs> you can do two things guys. First of all just simply click on this uh, arrow and here just type HTTP colon double forward slash and just hit enter if you are able to get output that will be great and then simply click on check my progress and if you not just follow the way i am doing click on this three dot simply click on reset then click on reset now just wait for a few seconds okay so it reset now again click on this and then again here type http colon forward slash and just hit enter it will take few seconds so just bear with that okay after that if you still not able to get the out page again cross again click on this three dot again click on this reset again reset and just wait for a few seconds yeah it's reset now just click on this 
click on this arrow and here you can see you automatically get the uh, apache beam default page like this once you got that simply click on check my progress you will get a score for sure so as you can see you got a score if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys